फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन इन केसेज ऑफ अलेज अबेटमेंट ऑफ सुसाइड देयर मस्ट बी ए प्रूफ ऑफ डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट एक्ट्स ऑफ इंसाइटमेंट टू द कमीशन ऑफ सुसाइड इट कुड हार्डली बी डिस्प्यूटेड दैट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ कॉज ऑफ ए सुसाइड particularly in the context of an offence of abetment of suicide remains a vexed one involving multifaceted and complex attributes of human behavior and responses reactions in the case of accusation for abetment of suicide the court would be looking for cogent and convincing of the acts of incitement to the commission of suicide in the case of suicide mere allegation of harassment of the deceased by another person would not suffice unless here there be such action on the part of the accused which compels the person to commit suicide and such an offending action ought to be proximate to the time of occurrence whether a person has abetted in the commission of suicide by another or not could only be gathered from the facts and circumstances of each case for the purpose of finding out if a person has abetted commission of suicide by another the consideration would be if the accused is guilty of the act of instigation of the act of suicide as explained and reiterated by this court in the decisions above referred instigation means to go urge forward provoke incite or encourage to do an act if the persons who committed suicide had been hypersensitive and the action of the accused is otherwise not ordinarily expected to induce a similarly circumstanced person to commit suicide it may not be safe to hold the accused guilty of abetment of suicide but on the other hand if the accused by his acts and by his continuous course of conduct creates a situation which leads the deceased perceiving no other option except to commit suicide the case may fall within the four corners of section 306 ipc if the accused plays an active role in tarnishing the self esteem and self respect of the victim which eventually draws the victim to commit suicide the accused may be held guilty of abetment of suicide the question of mens rea on the part of the accused in such cases would be examined with reference to the actual acts and deeds of the accused and if the acts and deeds are only of such nature which the accused intended nothing more than harassment or snap show of anger a particular case may fall short of the offence of abetment of suicide however if the accused kept on irritating or annoying the deceased by words or deeds until the deceased reacted or was provoked a particular case may be that of abetment of suicide such being the matter of delicate analysis of human behavior each case is required to be examined on its own facts while taking note of all the surrounding factors having bearing on the actions and psyche of the accused and the deceased
इस वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में इस पैसेज का टेक्स्ट दिया हुआ है